All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about group chats inside of Discord voice chat. What are group chats? They're kind of like miniature servers where people that are on your friends list inside of Discord can invite you to a conversation and then they can tab up to the top corner or somewhere up here and they can invite other people. And they look a little bit like this. They're just a group chat. They show how many people are on here. And then if you want to add more people, you can go over here to this little plus icon. Looks like a little person with a plus mark next to their head. And then you can scroll through your big long list of friends or people that are also on different servers that you share together. And then you can click, you know, I want to add these people and then click add. However, I've got a few of these old chats lying around that I think I should probably kill or get rid of or whatever. So to do that, all you have to do is find them inside your direct messages section, which is up here at the top of your Discord called Home. And then they'll appear here under direct messages, which is underneath your activity, library, nitro and friends list. And then to close one of these, all you have to do is just click on the little exit. When you hover over it, there's this little X here and you close it like you would uh, chat on a different instant messaging platform. The other question that was given to me the other day was how do you rename these groups? Because you might have noticed that a couple of those that I just shut down had some names. All you have to do is tab over the name of it. If you are the person that controls the group chat, you're the person with the little crown over their name that says group owner. And you can go over here and say like some old fancy group and hit OK. And then it'd be like, look, you just changed this name. And you can also put emoji in here in the same way that you would anywhere else inside of Discord. So if I find. So if I go to my. Unicode emoji chart, you can just look up a Unicode emoji table to copy and paste stuff from. You can go down through here and find whatever emoji you want. I've been going with a space invader lately, or you could do, let's say, uh, whatever this thing is. This looks like a fancy thingamajigger. Dizzy. We'll make this a dizzy thingamajig. With this, you can just go in here and you can literally just copy and paste the emoji into the name. And look, there's the emoji sitting in there. And you can literally put these Unicode emoji into basically every portion of your Discord. Even my name, as you notice, has a Space Invader emoji at the end, just because I felt like changing it to be fancy and all that stuff. And you can also start voice calls inside of your various different conversations. You just have to press this button to enter a voice call. That way other people who are part of the group can jump in or out as necessary. And from there, you can also start a video call. And much like everything else here, you can also pin messages in order to keep stuff for later. And that's really about it. I mean, there's nothing particularly fancy about it. It's just some of the controls are in a little bit different place. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been more about how to use and do stuff inside of Discord voice chat. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.